Hi, welcome to my cozy kitchen. Today, I have my cute little elf costume on. I just wanna make sure my microphone's on. Yep, it's on. And we are going to make a Minnesota favorite. Now this cookie is called the ricotta sugar cookie. And you wouldn't think that ricotta and sugar cookies go together, but these make the most softest, tenderest sugar cookies. And they are a staple for um, Thanksgiving and Christmas cookie recipes for Minnesota. So now this was actually a winner um, in our Star Tribune, which is like our Minnesota newspaper, um, the cookie contest of the Star Tribune. And so you know they're good if 5 million people read this and this is the winner of the contest. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I have my beautiful readers on because the if I have to consult my recipe, it's really, really tiny. <laughs> I'm having a harder time reading it. so. I've got my beautiful readers on my head. So um, this makes a bigger batch and I'm going to, because I have to use the whole container of ricotta, the 15 ounces, um, I'm gonna probably end up freezing half of these um, to put on cookie platters a little bit later into the month. Um, I give a whole bunch of these away every year. Um, so I'm kind of prepping some of my freezer space for that too. So um, great cookie, you can freeze them for up to three months and they're super good nice and fresh and they have a frosting with a little bit um, of a sprinkle garnish on there too so just to make them kind of nice and pretty so two steps so i'm gonna hop off as soon as i get these done bake them and then i'll show you how to make the frosting so super easy they come together really really fast so basically what we're going to do first is we're going to put one cup of butter in our, you have to use a stand mixer for this and you want this at room temperature so i've had this kind of sitting by my hot stove so make sure that's at room temperature, the butter. One cup of butter. And, oh yeah, see, now I'm having a hard time reading it. Two cups of sugar. We're gonna beat that together. So I'm gonna put my sugar in. Okay, so we're gonna cream this together for one minute, the butter and the sugar. That's why you need to use your stand mixer. Um, you can use one of the handheld ones too, but this one definitely, um, if you don't have a mixer, will use a lot of arm strength, which probably is not a bad thing too. So if you want to go ahead and mix, mix that up good so it's creamed up good. So it's nice and fluffy. We're gonna add the two eggs. Put those in there. Oh, this apron jingles. I I love this apron, this elf one. Make sure I don't get any shells in there. Take some practice there. Okay, so we're gonna beat in the eggs. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. About 30 seconds until that's kind of beat in. Okay, now I'm going to scrape down the side of my bowl just because I've got that butter mixture is kind of sticking to the side. Okay, now we are going to add the ricotta cheese. So 15 ounces. So it's the whole container of ricotta cheese. I thought it would all fall in there, but it didn't. And I will link everything I use to make this on my LTK. So I have I'm an affiliate person for LTK, which basically is a linking service for um, hundreds of different websites. And so I can link Amazon, Walmart, all in one link. And people really like that. So I'll try to make sure you can see the link in the description of this too. So if you have a question on something like the elf, people always want my aprons, not so much my dishes. <laughs> okay. So I've got that kind of just lightly mixed in. It's nice and fluffy, as you can see. I'm gonna add two, um, I think it's two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons, I got the wrong one, of baking powder. 
So baking powder, not soda. So you want two tablespoons. One teaspoon of vanilla. And I gotta put my readers on. Pretty sure it's four cups of flour. Yes, four cups of flour. Don't you love my readers? Amazon purchase. Everything's Amazon lately. <laughs> and then four cups of flour. And tomorrow I am making peanut butter balls. So you want to stay tuned for that. And yesterday I made pumpkin streusel muffins and cranberry, Nantucket cranberry pie. And I have to tell you, those two recipes that I made yesterday, I took the muffins up to my daughter and half of the pie. And I tell you what, they are a 10, both of those that I made yesterday. So you can see them on my YouTube. It's the pumpkin streusel muffins and the Nantucket cranberry pie. The, the pie was super easy. It sounds complicated, but it's more like a cobbler. Oh, they were just amazing though. Actually in a muffin for supper last night. Okay. Okay, we're gonna scrape this down. Okay, that's all there is to the dough. Okay, I've got your um, oven preheating to 350. And then we're gonna I'm gonna show you how what size we want the balls here. I just gotta mix this a little better. This makes a pretty big batch. So if you're gonna make these for your cookie tray, this is Probably enough for a cookie tray or cookie exchange. Definitely, I really like the consistency of this dough. And who doesn't love a good sugar cookie? With and then the ricotta cheese is just going to add another amazing flavor to it. And nice and light and fluffy. You know, if you're wondering, I use the light or the ricotta cheese with skim milk you can use the one with whole milk too but i figured i might as well try to save a few calories <laughs> it doesn't affect the taste any okay so my dough looks like this so that's how much dough it makes quite a bit okay let's move this over my beast of a stand okay so now you want to take your cookie tray and I use this cookie scoop and I do a nice size cookie scoop like that. So I don't have to roll them. Look at that. Okay. And we're going to bake these at 350 for, um, I think it's 15 minutes. I can't, I make so many recipes. I can't, I don't have them all memorized. So you'll have to excuse me. Um, oh my gosh. It says 15 minutes. I'm going to check them at 13 just because they're nice and light and airy. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop up one tray while I've got you on my, watching my video and then you can kind of see, but yeah, these cookie scoops, I'm gonna link them. One of my best selling things on Amazon. And actually these make a fantastic stocking stuffer if you've got 20 and 30 year olds that are just like starting to get their kitchen together. Um, super, Great. Well, and these make really good gifts. They're about $250. I think on Black Friday, you can get them just a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, these are workhorses, the mixers. Okay, so balls that size. We're going to throw them in the oven, and then I'm going to show you how to do the mix when they're done, and then we'll get them all finished up, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I'm back. So my first pan was done, and I cook them for 15 minutes. I am going to put in my recipe to check them at 14 minutes just to make sure that they turned out perfect. So that's about what they look like when they come out. The ricotta cheese, sugar cookies. And so now we're going to make the frosting. So you need the, your confectioner's powdered sugar. So you need about a cup and a half. I'm going to kind of wing it. And then about a tablespoon. I'll start with a tablespoon and a half of milk. If you've ever made this kind of powdered sugar before, actually, I just made this last night for my pumpkin streusel muffins. So it takes not very much milk to get the consistent. Oh, I'm kind of messy because I got stuff flying all over here. 
So you want to get that thicker consistency and I already have it way too thin. See? So I'm going to add more powdered sugar. Okay. Now this recipe I wanted to tell you made four, five cookie sheets full of cookies. So 60 cookies. So this makes a big batch. So perfect for if you're making them for cookie exchange or for a large family. Um, but just so you know that, because I use that full container of ricotta cheese. Okay, you wanna get that so you don't have any lumps. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I've got my sprinkles, so I've got red, so I have like this variety pack, but I have, I'm gonna use red and green on some of these for the fun part of it. So I've got it at a consistency that will just like nicely frost the cookie. And yep, so it's just going to nicely frost like this. I'm going to be frosting a lot of cookies because, like I said, it made 60 of them. <laughs> Here's my cookie scoop. You can put this in a squeeze bottle too. Um, that was another thing I was going to bring up and I should have got out my squeeze bottle because that would have been much easier for this many cookies. So you, then you put the frosting in the squeeze bottle and then you can just like squeeze it on in nice pretty patterns too. So that's an option. Okay, so then because this stuff's like salt, you want to put it in your hands first and then you want to lightly sprinkle. I'm going to do some red, some green, you know, because they're going on cookie trays. So if, okay, and if you're making these in a different time of year, ignore the elf costume <laughs> and you can put pastel colors on there um, for Easter or red and pink for Valentine's Day. So anyway, so that is what the ricotta sugar cookies look like when they are done. And you can make, put multiple colors on too. I mean, like I'm going to take some of the red and just kind of do a few that are both colors just because red and green are such pretty Christmas colors. I'm starting to get my Christmas decor out. You see behind me my stuff starting to show up a little bit. All right, there you go. I hope you love these ricotta sugar cookies. I'm going to um, cite who I got the recipe from too because this one actually came from a Minnesota um, cookie cookbook. So if you're interested in that cookbook, I'll link that too. Um, but one of my favorites, and I think you are going to love this for your holiday traditions. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you learned something or are interested in more videos, definitely um, subscribe, follow. I hate to even bring that up because it's annoying to people to say subscribe and like and follow and whatever, but um, it does help my videos pop up in your feed so then you don't lose me. So anyway, see you later.